on the work table with the valve casing side down. Disassemble reactionless valve block which is adhered to the opposite side of the relief valve from casing. Disassemble reactionless valve from the reactionless valve block. At that time, be careful not to separate springs from reactionless valve. Disassemble brake valve from the casing. Disassemble spool, plunger A, two springs from brake valve. Disassemble relief valve from valve casing. Disassemble RO plug and take out spring and plunger from the valve casing. Be careful not to damage the plunger seat. Loosen four hex bolt and disassemble valve casing from casing. Be careful not to drop the valve plate from the valve casing. Disassemble valve plate from valve casing by using the tool. Disassemble 20 brake springs from the brake piston. Disassemble brake piston from casing by using the special tool for disassembling the brake piston. Also, disassemble it by using the air and brake valve port without special tool. After placing the casing horizontally, take out cylinder blown from casing and disassemble two friction plates. Three separation plates from casing. Disassemble piston assembly, spherical push, space F, 12 push rod in order from cylinder block kit and be careful not to damage the sliding parts of each one. Disassemble snap ring, space, spring, space R by using the air press from the cylinder block. Disassemble snap ring by using the special tool from the casing at first and disassemble drive shaft front and cover from casing while tapping the end of the driver shaft with a plastic hammer. Be careful not to damage the oil seal which contacts the spline of the drive shaft. Afterward, disassemble the oil seal from front cover by using the tool. Do not reuse the oil seal if it is damaged any part. Disassemble shoe plate from the casing by using a steel bar and tapping it lightly. Before proceeding to assemble, keep to the regulations of the five contents stickly. First, replace and repair damaged parts after disassembling. Second, clean all parts and dry with compressed air. Third, coat the sliding parts and bearings with clean hydraulic oil. Fourth, replace stickly O-ring and oil seal etc. after disassembling. Fifth, for the mounting of bolts, please use a torque wrench and tighten the bolts with the required torque. Place casing on the work plate with the valve casing side downward. Assemble O-ring that is coated with grease to casing. Assemble the drive shaft complete with bearing into casing using a plastic hammer, tapping it lightly until the bearing is fully seated to casing. Assemble the oil seal that is coated with grease to front cover by using the tool until fully seated. Also, be careful to note the direction of the oil seal. Assemble front cover to casing while tapping evenly it lightly with a plastic hammer. Mount snap ring to casing. Assemble shoe plate with grease and insert it with larger chambered side of the shoe plate toward the casing. Assemble space R that is heated, spring, space that is coated in order, and be careful to note the direction of spacer R and space, the larger chamfered side of the spacer R and spacer toward the spring. Also, place 12 push rods 
Two push rods insert one hole in cylinder block. Space F and spherical bush to the cylinder block. Fit piston assembly to retainer plate and assemble the retainer plate with the piston assembly to the cylinder block. After placing the casing horizontally, first align the spline of the cylinder block and spherical bush. Afterward, assemble cylinder block kit to the drive shaft and casing. Assemble O-rings that are coated with grease to casing. Place casing with front cover downward and assemble two friction plates and three separation plates in sequence. And then align six places, which is cut at the teeth of two friction plates, the jaws and three separation plates. Assemble brake piston to casing after coating the casing with hydraulic oil. Assemble brake spring into brake piston and confirm the springs are fitted to the brake piston completely. Assemble O-ring which is coated with grease to valve casing. Assemble valve plate to valve casing at that time. Be careful to note the direction of the valve plate. This time the hole that is diameter 5 in the valve plate is lined the drain hole in the valve casing. Assemble valve casing to casing Titan 4 hex bolt to specification and there's direction is the same direction between valve casing and relief valve in valve casing. Also, be careful not to drop the valve plate or let the brake springs pop out. Assemble plunger and spring to valve casing and tighten RO plug with O-ring. Be careful to note the direction of the plunger to valve casing. Assemble relief valve, which is assembled O-ring with grease to valve casing. Assemble three O-rings, spool, plunger A, two spring to brake valve block in sequence. Be careful to note the direction spool and plunger A to brake valve block. and assemble brake valve block to casing with three bolt. Assemble reactionless valve to reactionless valve block. When assembling the reactionless valve, be careful to note the direction of it and confirm the springs are fitted to the reactionless block. Assemble reactionless valve block assembly to valve casing by using the two bolts and light tightening the two bolts. <laughs>